Good morning, everybody. Come on over here closer. I want to catch a big humongous salmon fish. I'm going to catch a butterfly fish. Well, the weather cooperated, the rain's over, and the water didn't get high and muddy, so we should be able to catch some fish today. Uh, I'm Jim Gracie. I'm an active volunteer in the Maryland Chapter of Trout Unlimited. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some fishing. Uh, this stream was stocked with, I think, a thousand trout yesterday. Plenty of fish in there. You're going to have uh, Trout Unlimited volunteers teaching you how to fish if you need some help. We're all part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. What happens up here affects everything down there. So if we want clean water and fish down there, maybe things have to stay clean up here. Hi, I'm Mr. Drew. And you are? Hi, Brian. We call it City Catch. We, we really want to take some city kids and teach them how to fish. We want them to learn an appreciation for water and water quality in the Stream Valley Parks. We had about 92 children today. What's up, man? We have 120 fishing rods out here today. And the deal is that these kids, we want them to have a fishing rod so they can go fishing again. So they get to keep it. Uh, my name is Brenda Foster and I'm the president of Maryland Chapter of Trout Unlimited. We represent about 700 members, which is one of the largest chapters in our country. This is Leakin Park, which is uh, one of the, the parks in, in Baltimore City. This is The stream here is called Dead Run. Oh, you got a fish? Go, come on in. For a lot of these little girls and guys, the opportunity to catch a fish is like magic to them. He's strong, isn't he? Their little eyes light up. It's just a thrill. Ah. My name's Tom Gamper. I'm president ex officio of the Maryland chapter of Trout Unlimited. Let's see how dark they are from the top. We're tapping into the real understanding that kids really need to get outdoors. I think I like this to be here, but you got to keep it clean. You got to keep the... You gotta keep our top clean and keep this clean. Baltimore is lucky enough to have the largest forested urban park in the United States of America. And getting the kids out here and discovering this park is very important to Baltimore City Department of Recreation and Parks. Hopefully they come out and become stewards of the resource, which means you know, we want them to recognize uh, all the natural resources around them. Come on, you gotta take a picture with the fish. And hopefully you know, take care of those natural resources for generations uh, in the future to enjoy. Sam was lucky enough to catch one. <laughs> Don't be so humble. <laughs> it should be on the nation show or Animal Planet. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up about a mile and a half up over that hill in a development they used to call Edmondson Village. And I used to spend all my time here as a kid. I'd collect uh, butterflies, rocks and minerals, snakes, and I'd go fishing. And when I was, I mean, I was a little nine-year-old kid or 10-year-old kid, and I read every book the Pratt Library had on fishing and trout and salmon water, and I'd never been to a trout stream. I used to come down here at 9 and 10 years old with a casting outfit, pretending I was trout fishing. He's a fat fish. So I'm really happy to see the kids can fish for trout here. It's really nice. Kids who grew up in the city, uh, there are two things they hear about streams. Stay away from them, and that's where people throw their trash. So, I mean, that's a, that's a cultural change that we need to do something about. People need, need to learn that this is something that has great value and you can have a lot of fun here and you can appreciate it. But we gotta take care of it. Everybody, oh, a jumping rainbow trout. You gotta get them out here and let them have fun. That's, that's my theory anyway. If they learn that they, this is a place to have fun, then they value it. That's how I came to value it. I think that's how we all did. Smile for camera. <laughs> that's a pretty fish, isn't it?